the 2019 edition of FFConf, I invited attendees to write a blog post about their day or their experience or uh, the particular talks that they watched. And as an incentive to that, um, I would choose two uh, of those bloggers at random to win free tickets to FFConf 2020. Now, since we are now in 2020, I thought it was time I would actually pick those winners. And normally, I would write a bit of JavaScript. I would take a list of all the blog posts, um, then do a sort on uh, a random value, so literally math.random, and then just pick the two at the top. Um, but I've been using a tool called JQ a lot, um, and I thought I'd work through my workflow uh, using JQ. Um, so if you're only interested in who won, uh, there's quite likely an accompanying, accompanying blog post that goes with this, or you can skip to the end. Um, if you want to see how I use JQ to do a bit of a JSON manipulation, then uh, watch on. So the articles I collected are on um, the FFConf website, um, and the FFConf website uses 11T, so this particular page is driven by a JSON file, which is over here in GitHub. Um, this JSON file, articles.json, only includes uh, external articles, so it doesn't include any of the um, uh, insight posts which I've written. Um, so they include everything that kind of links off to uh, another website. So this is my starting JavaScript. So I'm going to copy that uh, and go into a tool that I wrote called JQ Term, uh, which is simply a uh, web GUI on top of the uh, JQ command line, uh, which is uh, over here. Um, so I'm just going to paste in my um, uh, JSON. And you can see if I just do posts, I'll kind of narrow down to just the posts uh, rather than all the JSON data. I need to narrow that down to just the posts that were written in 20, uh, 2019. So I can do um, map select, which is effectively the same as doing kind of dot filter in uh, JavaScript. Um, and I can do dot date um, starts with 2019. So this now narrows down to uh, 17 posts. Now the problem with these 17 posts are there are three uh, bloggers in there that aren't um, uh, don't qualify for a free ticket, in particular myself. Um, so I want to exclude myself as one of the um, potential winners. Uh, Amina and Alice, who were both speakers in 2019, and they actually get free tickets to 2020 by default. So I want to remove those out of the kind of um, the random selection. So um, I'm also going to um, add a condition inside of the select to say, and the by doesn't match a whole bunch of different names. So I'm going to add this bit and then do uh, dot by. Um, uh, oh, got to wrap this in brackets. Um, and I'm going to do uh, paste test. Um, this is a regex. So I'm going to just start off with, um, I think it's brackets, Remy or Alice or Amina. Okay, so now it's got a positive test, so it's, it's saying only show these people, uh, but I'm going to pipe this into a not. I should get rid of everyone, and now I can see up here it says I have an array of 14 uh, elements. So that's good. Now I've got just the uh, 14 bloggers that I want to select from. Now the next part of this would be to um, sort by some kind of random value. The problem is I don't have a random function in JQ. It just doesn't exist. Um, I think there's an open issue for it, but... For the time being, I'm going to head over to um, this website, rosettarose.org, where um, particular kind of functional problems are proposed. Um, in this case, linear congruential, butchering that very clearly, generator, um, uh, where the logic is explained, and then uh, a community of people. Uh, like yourself or myself, uh, can actually go and translate that in lots of different languages. And in here we have JQ. So I'm going to borrow uh, this one. This is the, um, I believe, the Microsoft Runtime uh, Random Number Generator. And uh, if I call it with a seed, in this case one, and uh, semicolon five, semicolon is a way that JQ separates its variables, which is confusing. Um, it'll generate five random numbers. So we're going to use that. And um, what I need to do is to uh, generate the num. I, I need to generate a random number and attach it to each one of these objects. Uh, so I'm going to create a new function called uh, rand, and um, it's going to take 
it's going to return um, this rand Microsoft, and I'm going to pass in. There's a small bug I think in my own program where I need to kind of do uh, dot as uh, n, and I'm going to pipe that there. I'm going to do um, now and then dollar n. Now, actually, that can be there. Uh, so the reason I'm I'm doing this, this is our seed. By using now, I'm going to get a random a random value when I start, basically, rather than running it. If I if I ran it every single like, every time I run it, if I use the number one, then I would get the same random values every time, which I don't want. Um, so uh, we have a length here, so we're going to pipe that into uh, rand. Cool. Now we have random values. If I just hit space a few times, you can see that. They're all um, changing, which is good. Um, but I need to attach that to my uh, array. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that is uh, take, uh, I'm going to take my, um, mm -hmm, this thing, and I'm going to do dot. Yep, OK. So this will give me. Um, 14 random numbers and an array of all the random of all the posts and I'm going to use this really neat thing called transpose which kind of zips them all together so it puts the first element from the first array with the first element from the second array and puts them together one by one so you can see uh, Josh has got this number if I uh, press space he gets a different number and you get different values and now I have to kind of zip them back together again uh, which I'm going to do using a map so I'm going to do map and then I'm going to do dot one plus uh, rand and then uh, dot zero works right. So now <clears throat> I've added a property into my my output object. You can see it there. It's kind of building up. And um, now I need to do a sort by dot rand, and that'll give me um, the ordering. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to put uh, I'm going to output the rand value. Yep, yeah, there you go. Um, just, uh, yeah. Um, and I'm going to do sort by dot rand pipe. Okay, and um, then I want to slice to. No, not like that. Um, oh, I got that wrong. Oh, it returns an array, that's why. There you go. So these should always be the biggest two numbers. Doesn't look like it, does it? Let's have a look. Um, let's not slice. Let's take a look. Or maybe they're the smallest two numbers. Yeah, that's definitely ordered. That's definitely sorted, which is good, which is what we want. Um, so if I do, no, I can probably do it here actually, two. I'm getting the first two, so the smallest number. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to get two consistently random uh, values. So what I'm going to do now is do uh, dot by, and we will get the names of our uh, winners. So whatever comes up now will be, you'll have a free ticket. Congratulations, and thank you very much. So we've got uh, Sophie uh, Kunin, Kunin, I think, yes and uh, Josh Hudson. So congratulations. Thank you for your blog posts. Uh, they mean the world to me and Julie. And uh, we will see you in uh, later on in the year, November. Thanks again for coming last year. Cheers.